upsell with finesse and savoir faire. That means savoir faire means know how. All right. Upselling in fine dining setting is not about increasing the revenue. It's an art that enhances the overall guest experience. All right, guys. To become top seller, you must master the finesse and the savoir faire fair, savoir fair required to recommend additional items seamlessly. The keyword here, seamlessly. We should not be pushy, we should not be uh, stubborn, we should not be in, in, intrusive. Everything has to happen seamlessly. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on now. Establishing the upselling mindset. Nothing's going to happen if you don't tell yourself, hey man, I want to become the top seller. I really want to be a top seller. If that's going to help me make more money, if that's going to help me establish a better relationship with my management and with my uh, chefs, I will become a top seller. So, start with building a rapport. All right. If you are able from the very first moment to establish rapport with your guests, you know, that means they start trusting you and they still they feel comfortable in your presence. You will have success with anything else for the rest of the evening. All right. So engage in polite conversation. Listen carefully. Pick up the clues that they give you in their, you know, remarks, whatever they talk. And then make refer references and, you know, suit their needs. Tell her, tell her your service on the on the based on the information you get so here's the example now mark and family just get into the restaurant they sit on the table and sarah goes there with a smile then she like greeting the guests with with a smile with a friendly attitude good evening and welcome to whatever tutis rotis my name is sarah and i'll be taking care of you tonight may i start by saying what a pleasure it is to have you with us so now Normal conversation, like everybody has to start with that. Good evening and welcome to the name of the restaurant. My name is so-and-so and I'll be taking care of you tonight. This is the standard. And then, you know, you add something. Like, like I said, be creative in your words. May I start by saying what a pleasure it is to have you with us. Now, you give the bow to the guest. And they, of course, going to say thank you. They will be very impressed because not every waiter, not probably no waiter, greet them with this kind of greeting. And they will just go, hey, we're excited to be here too. And I'm Mark. This is Emily. It's our anniversary today. And there you go. The first clue. They are anniversary. Now watch Sarah. Oh, congratulations. That's a normal thing, you know. You congratulate anybody that has birthday or anniversary or something. That's a special occasion. We are honored that you have chosen to celebrate with us. Now, that makes the guests really, really feel comfortable because they understand that you listen to them and you are thanking them for choosing this restaurant to celebrate. That means you are showing you know, total appreciation of their visit and that will really like them. They will love that. And now, how many wonderful years are you celebrating? Okay. And you got more information. Five, fifth anniversary. Like, hey, oh, so they have anniversary. They have something special. It's a fifth anniversary. And now Sarah is doing the right thing. That's fantastic. Do you both prefer a quieter, intimate setting or would you like a bit more energy in a dining room? All right, if they have fifth anniversary, young couple, probably they want something quiet, like don't put them right there in the middle of the restaurant, give them a quiet table, and then of course you can make something special. Put five candles, all right, because they celebrate fifth anniversary. Or whatever you're gonna figure out, but just make it really pleasant, really uh, special uh, for their evening. And yeah, they let's say Mark chooses actually we would love to have a quieter spot if possible. Of course, I will make sure you have a cozy private spot. Um, now I would love to guide you through the our menu 
Is there anything specific you are in the mood for tonight? Perhaps seafood, steak or something else entirely. Anyway, this is an approach that Sarah has when she goes to the table and it works. You already created a report by you know, thanking them for choosing the restaurant for their celebration, you know, recognizing that they have celebration, giving them option to choose a you know better table, you know, to to have their peace and quiet. And that already created the report with the guests. They are loving you right now. Okay? And now selling, upselling, or whatever you do, it's much more easier. Now, <clears throat> recommendations with genuine enthusiasm. You have to believe in the value. When you're making recommendations, you got to believe that what you're recommending brings value to the guest experience. Confidence in the recommendation. You got to be confident that once they test this dish or test this wine, they will really love it. Okay, so you have confidence, passionate delivery. Like I said, guys, put a sparkle in your eyes. Be passionate about it. Put the story behind it and make it sound really special. If you want to sell it, it's got to be special. And the guest wants to buy it and wants to test it, even if they are not in the mood for this kind of dish or this kind of wine today. <clears throat> Storytelling, again, if you put a story behind an item that you try to sell, you will increase your success more than 100%, more than 100%. And then, of course, engaging descriptions. Use the magic words, use the proper tone of the voice and use gesticulations right proper gesticulations please uh but uh, make uh, you know describe the, the item like really really in detail with picking up the guest interest honesty and transparency now honesty is crucial we 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 have to be honest about uh about anything about the dish if the guests have questions you be honest about it is it spicy yes it is spicy or uh, is it uh, the farm lobster or it's a it's a you know live, wild lobster well it's a farm farm lobster it's a bio farm whatever uh, organic farm whatever but it's a farm lobster yes you, you have to be honest um in if if you don't know the answer, do not come up with the answer. You know, it's not a pleasant, but it's better to go and ask the chef or ask the management. But uh, do not come up with a, you know, false answer because that might cost even the health or the life of your guest. You know, if uh, they are allergic to nuts and they're asking you if the dish has nuts and you say no without being 100% certain and the dish actually has nuts that could be deadly and now the power of suggestion like when you are explaining something and you are presenting something make sure that you put a suggestion at the end you should try it even if you don't try today come back tomorrow only for dessert because you will never have a dessert like that anywhere else all right you know Frame it as a as excitement, exciting thing to do. It's exciting to trust this uh, uh, this tiramisu because you will never have tiramisu like that. You know, our chef, our patisserie chef, is just top of the world, and you will never have a chance to test a tiramisu like that. And even if you're full today, come tomorrow for lunch only for like dessert and coffee, and you will see and you will thank me and you remember this for the rest of your life. That's it. <clears throat> so maintaining discretion and timing if a guest decline 
an upsell or whatever sell gracefully accept the decision and do not push further that's it if a guest tells you no it means no we thank the guest with a smile and we back off and we don't try to sell you know whatever we don't make the pitch again we're trying to push we don't want to upset our guests we don't want to make them feel that we are hustling here and trying to make them spend more money than necessary no we want the guests to understand that what we are suggesting will enhance their evening they will ex enhance their experience and that's why we are doing it not because of the money and that's got to be always on the back of your mind